On this episode of Doing the Most, we're talking about homebrewing organization. Homemade brews and various artists, everything from meat to roast. Big creation, fermentation, and ebriation, doing the most. It's been a while since we've broken out the doing the most selfie stick, but it felt like the best way of giving you a quick tour of what the Doing the Most studio looks like and talk through some ways that I have been working on improving my organization. Folks that have been in this studio will tell you that it's a mess. So one of my favorite memories from being in the studio with BC is one time we were there and he had a very narrow path to get to his actual video space. I've never seen so many carboys in my entire life. It was like, it's like there's one path to get back there to where you're behind the camera. It's like, you have to be like, oh, don't step on that, oh, turn this way. And I remember kind of shimming my way around five gallon carboys and bottles and buckets and we made the way through. BC's brewing room. I have visited it a couple of times and I would say uh, sort of a, uh, organized chaos. Fun fact, I walked into BC's studio, I slipped and cracked my back on a box of raisins, had to call Life Alert, they didn't show up for 20 minutes. Three homebrew shops worth of carboys on the floor and you had to like step over one to get to the next one to get back to where they filmed the video and did the video. And then I remember his dog coming through and trying to do the same thing. And it was just very funny. Maybe, hopefully. He knows where his things are. The, the man is unhinged. He needs to clean his studio. His brew space is quite chaotic, but mine can be too. It's a mess. And don't roll some B-roll here and you'll see. It's actually in better condition than it usually is, but it's just, we do a lot of brewing. We do a lot of video content and it's hard to keep everything organized. And so I've been trying to make a pledge to myself to organize a little bit better. And I've got three ways that I have done that, that I feel have helped improve my ability to brew and brew efficiently, expeditiously, kind of maintain my sanity. So let's take a look. I think one of the most important things that I did was get a small refrigerator to go in the studio. And that was important because that meant that yeast storage and cold crashing and cold storage and lagering could all happen within the same space. And that fridge for me was a new air flip shelf. Now that fridge has migrated to another area of the house and I have a second one now. And this one's cool because it is a collaboration between new air and stone brewing. It's got some very loud branding on it, which really spices up my brew space. And it's got all of the benefits of the flip shelf fridge. The shelves in it can be arranged one direction if you're storing wine bottles on their side or flipped around if you wanna store beer bottles upright. And I think it's pretty cool to have a fridge that can be used for dual purposes like that. And the shelves come out, so it's really easy to fit a bunch of different one gallon carboys in here or you can fit all the way up to a five gallon carboy in there with an airlock for lagering or cold crashing or what have you. And so it's super convenient to have it right here. I'm not taking big heavy carboys and moving them all across the house in order to do those things. And I've got yeast storage in here, which means all of my yeast are handy. I'm not having to run all the way to the kitchen refrigerator to get my yeasts that are in cold storage. And to do that effectively, I got these little plastic trays that fit my yeast perfectly. So whether it's dry yeast or wet yeast, it's stored safely, it's easily accessible, and I can find exactly what I need when I need it. Links to those trays will be in the description on this video and proceeds from that support the channel. Overall, I love New Air's line of flip shelf fridges, this being the second one in my home brewing arsenal, and they just work. 
They work really well. They maintain temperature really well. The temperature is adjustable in a pretty wide range. Of course, like I said, the interior size is pretty customizable depending on what you're wanting to store, whether it's bottles or carboys or a bucket. I love the form factor, even though it can fit that much capacity inside, it doesn't have a huge footprint either. And lastly, since it's sitting in my studio, it's really important that it runs quietly, which you can tell it does. Probably the most important thing I did for organization in the studio is I got this shelving and of course that shelving and that pegboard and that really helps me keep everything organized kind of as needed. You can see all the Jack Keller wines that are bottled sitting here and then obviously you recognize all the stuff over there. I've got more things stored down here that could use some organizational help. But the, the key thing with these shelves and my pegboard is that they're all on casters, meaning anytime I need to get them out of this room, I can. I just slide them on out. Those casters make it really easy to reconfigure the space when I need to. And that was really helpful in a video series I did for another channel where I had to completely reconfigure the space to fit that channel's needs. And so it's really handy to be able to just slide stuff around in the brew room. And someday I'm gonna get the workbench on casters too. Someday. But for now, having most of the big heavy stuff on casters really helps, especially if you have a carboy burst or you've got a honey spill and you need to get stuff cleaned up. And finally, a newer thing that I've started doing is organizing all of my miscellaneous stuff back here on these shelves. And this is newer. If you look back just even a year ago, this was a mess of chaos back here. And yes, it <laughs> may still look kind of chaotic, but it's not because they're organized. I've got kvike and miscellaneous ingredients. I've got closures, miscellaneous gear, spooky powders and acids, miscellaneous gear and kegging supplies, and miscellaneous. So, okay, so there's a lot of miscellaneous, but I know where everything is that I need, and the stuff that I need most often, like nutrients or corks and caps, are right here handy where I can get to them. I don't know why it took me so long to get baskets and labels and organize things, but, you know, Brewtube's a busy place. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration into homebrewing organization. I think that these three things really help. Having a fridge in your brew space, having heavy stuff on wheels, and having all of your stuff organized into baskets with labels by category so you know where stuff is. I think these are really helpful and I'm curious for you leave me a comment what are your homebrewing organization tips because as you can see it's kind of a mess in here and I could probably still still use some help if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming content on our channel and of course join our discord server follow us on Instagram etc etc because you want to be part of the doing the most community, the doing the most organizing community. Until next time, happy brewing, stay classy.